Yo, I'm Yo Almo. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a build video for the Fat Tech FC and the ESC. I haven't seen anybody else really do a build video about it. I'm also gonna do a setup video. This won't be for the beginner. This is more like the person who's already built a quad before. So I'm gonna be skipping a lot of steps. I will be linking a lot of the stuff, instructions. I'll provide pictures as well for the wiring diagram and everything. And there we go. So here is the flight controller. It comes in this little case. Here it is in my palm. I also went ahead and got the spike absorber. That's basically gonna keep the ESC from burning out. Here's the ESC. Comes with a capacitor. The ESC originally can fit M2 screws, but you also have the option to fit the M3 screws. There's instructions on in the manual basically showing that you can use some sort of screwdriver or something that, to be able to break it in, if you can see there closely. I ended up using just some needle nose tweezers and gently twisted. Same thing with the FC. Since I'm gonna be doing a 2020 fitting, I was using some nylon nuts to lock it in. In between each nut, I also put the rubber dampeners so I can soft mount everything. So I soft mounted the ESC as well as the flight controller. As you can see, it's a little bit of a tight fit, but after just kinda squeezing it in a few times, eventually just broke in. It didn't come with any lipo plug, so I ended up making my own out of 14 gauge wire. On the capacitors, I put some heat shrink just to protect it. So as far as the spike absorber, I ended up using 18 gauge wire just to basically solder it on where the end of the lipo lead and the ESC meet. I basically soldered it there, started doing the motor wires. After soldering the motors, I did a quick little smoke stopper test just to make sure that it's working. And you see there's like all four ESCs are blinking. Next, I got the JST connector just to connect it to the flight controller. And I'm going to provide some pictures. You can pause the video here so that way you can kind of follow the pictures if you have the same setup. What I'm going to do is link everything in the description where you can get the KISS GUI download as well as the FET Tech ESC configurator. Once you've downloaded the KISS GUI, you'll get this folder here. Go ahead and open it up, run it, connect your flight controller. Before you even set it up, it's actually going to have you activate it. Connect your flight controller to the computer. These are my setups. If you want to copy these, you can go ahead and stop the video and input it. But I'm going to go to FC Flasher because we have to flash to the latest firmware. You're going to select remote firmware. That tech. You would download the firmware. Gives you the latest hex. Go ahead and click flash firmware. I've already done that. As far as on this screen, the configuration, leave it at default, the motor outputs. I'm gonna put a picture on the screen on basically the order of the, the ESC. But it's one, two, three, and four. Leave it at the default, you'll be good. You can copy anything else you want. These are basically Mr. Steele's setup. The rates are actually from Vic FPV. And now to flash the FetTech ESC. Once you've downloaded it from the link down below, go ahead and connect the flight controller again. And then connect the light bulb. Once you've done that, you can leave it at this. Since you're running the FetTech FC, FetTech ESC, of course, connect to it. As 
console to be able to update it. I think I had the version before this, this one. Click on remote firmware. Click on the latest one. Then you would just flash the ESC. I've already flashed mine. It's going to go one by one. The way that I wired it, the reason I even have the, the reverse rotation is because the way that I wired it. But if you wire it normally, it should work. But what I suggest you always do is test out the motors with no props on. Click on telemetry. And once you click on set the throttle, you can go ahead and move it up and test the motors that way. And you're basically ready to go. I'm running the Johnny props and again as I mentioned earlier that the frame I'm flying is the Waspy RC should be mode 7 I'll link that in the bio I'm not the greatest pilot coming from beta flight I notice a real big difference I guess the way that I can describe it is with Betaflight, I feel like it's an athlete running through a course with weights on. Because you can feel that resistance that Betaflight has with all their filtering. But with this setup, the KISS setup, I feel like it's the same athlete running the course, but with no weights. There's like hardly anything fighting back. didn't affect me going through these gaps but it feels very locked in the current weight on it is probably I think it's at 600 and 68 grams all up running the hero session 5 running crossfire of course with my tyrannus qx7 So far, I like the setup. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. Comment if you have any questions. Reach out to me on the social medias. I'll see you guys on the next one.